and welcome back to another video. My name is Jenny and this is my roommate Maggie. You might have seen her in my previous vlog. And today we are switching beauty routines. Oh my god. First I use my Clinique powder. Okay, what do you do first? Alright, first what I do is um I'm a big fan of the Beauty Blender. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, not the Real Beauty Blender. Side note, did you see that Beauty Blender threw shade at Real Techniques on their Instagram? I mean, I don't know. If I had a product and I was making a ton of money and people were doing knockoffs, I'd be a little mad. Yeah, but the Real oh. Techniques Blender is so much better than the Beauty is Blender. It? It's so Ooh, that's much tea, better. That's tea. First is um, I have really red cheeks, so I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Reduce Redness Primer. So, um... Yes. Fingers? Just on fingers, yeah. I don't really use primer because I most of the time go in with like a really light foundation and most of the time powder. Then what I do is I use the um, Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer um, in Fair Neutral. This is my shade that I use um, for all of Tarte's products. I have their full coverage foundation also in Fair Neutral. Can we discuss their atrocity of a color line though? Yeah, I know. It's not good, but Oof. I really like the product, so I'm gonna keep using it. No, it's okay. Wait, what do you use? Fair Neutral? I use light. I use Fair Neutral. Which one is lighter, yours? Mine is light. Since we both have the same product, she's just gonna use the one in her skin tone. So you use this as foundation? Yes. Ooh, this is really full coverage for a powder. Yeah, it's really nice. I also really like the Bare Minerals one. I didn't tell you this, but I just ordered um, a derma roller. What is that? Oh, like the little rose gold or jade rollers? No, 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 no. Derma rollers is like a little thing with needles that you prick yourself with. That's upsetting. It's supposed to be really good for your skin. This is really full coverage. I'm like really surprised at this. Okay, I feel I feel good about this. I feel good. Is um I take I'm so upset because this has been discontinued. Um, I take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation and Fair Neutral. Wait, you do concealer first and then powder? Yeah. Interesting. The powder sets the concealer. Wait. I'm sorry, did you say powder or foundation? This is powder foundation. Oh, okay, interesting. I do concealer first. I hit pan. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. I am almost out and I am so upset. All over. Jesus, it is like a treasure chest. I'm trying to find these. That is really nice though, actually. Yeah, I miss it so bad, it's discontinued. Next, I use my shade tape. And I kind of use this as eyeshadow primer as well as under eye concealer and then also, you know, like whatever pimples that I have at current. And then I honestly just kind of blend that in with my finger because I'm a mess. Oh, blending this with fingers is hard. Is it? Yeah, I'm used to the beauty blender, so it's just kind of like... I need to get my beauty blender back. I left a bunch of my makeup at home because I just decided that I was too cluttered and then I miss all my shit now so that's upsetting I feel like Gigi Gorgeous just throwing my shit I feel like she does that a lot and I'm like queen I've been thinking about like who my favorite YouTube artists are like makeup YouTube artists and Gigi Gorgeous Jeffree Star um, Let's see, I'm still a big fan of Ingrid Nelson. She taught me how oh, to no, do makeup. Oh, no, I like her too. Um, she taught me how to do makeup when I was 13, and now she's teaching me how to do life. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. They're still teaching me how to do makeup because I'm still a mess. And my recent thing is I want to learn how to bake your face. Cause I, oh, don't I know, hate that so much. I don't so know how much. you do that shit. I hate that so much. It's just too much powder for me. All right, what's next? Um... What is next? I honestly don't normally do like blush um, because my cheeks are like really red and I don't use a ton of my foundation. But if I was to do blush, I would do this Pixi blush, uh, which is in rose gold and it's also like highlight blush. So, so do you mix them together? Or do you just do? I would do it separately. All right. Let me get my blush brush. See, the blush that I use is a lot pinker. Because, like, I use it to do that, like, South Korean drunk blush look. Like, not every day, but, like, if I'm, like, going to a party or something. I feel like you can still see, like, my pink cheeks under pretty much any foundation I wear. If it's not, like, high, high coverage. Because I have rosacea, which I kind of like. Yeah, 
constantly staring at myself in the mirror because I'm not conceited. I want to go buy more brushes and I wanted to order the Jeffree Star uh, brush kit from Morphe, oh, but they're nice. all sold out because he's a queen. Wait, I just said Jeffree Star, I meant James Charles. Oops, sorry sisters. I do, I, lo I love both of them. I'm such a fucking sister. I hope to be a sister. This is a nice blush. Like the blush that I use is very pink because I use it when I'm trying to be like extra. Yeah. Extra, exactly. Um, do you want me to do the highlighter too? Yeah. Let me get my highlighter. I don't know what happened. I feel like this would be good to like use for under eye concealer because it kind of has like a blunt shape. I kind of like that. Guys, my new goal in life is to look like really airbrushed because I have really bad pores on my nose and I don't know what to do about that. So comment down below. Oh, and also comment down below if you've derma rolled and if you've had good experiences, bad experiences, any experiences I should know about before I start derma rolling, let me know. I don't do big brushes for highlight. I mostly just kind of like blend it in. Oh, all right, yeah. This is my highlighter. It is the um, Milk Glitter Stick. Yes. So what I do is, here, let me, um, I just apply, here, I want to do it to you. Okay, I just apply it with my fingers. So onto the cheekbones. I actually have a Milk Highlighter that I haven't tried out yet. Yeah, I have like painfully brown face. Brow bone. And inner corner. There we go. I take the NYX um, Dreamcatcher palette in Stormy Skies. Um, it is a 10 color shadow palette. They do not have names. I'm very upset that they do not have names. But um, I take this sort of taupey shade right here. Um, as you can see, I really love it because I've hit pan. I take this taupey shade and put it all over the lid and then I do um, this sort of gold brown like shade that. in the crease. Gonna have to blend that shit out. I go in with this Urban Decay on the... What the fuck does that word say? That what last word. I don't know. On the run. On the run palette. And I like it because it's small and it still gives you a ton of variety in colors. And I was really into purple for a while and I'm honestly still into purple. So I uh, normally go in with um, Ball Out uh, on the inner corner and then Faith. Uh, kind of like in a cut crease kind of look and then uh, rebound to um, in like the outer outer corner and like to blend it out um, and normally I kind of do it in kind of an upwards fashion to make All your right. face look I elongated. Think it's not ball out it's bail out. Fuck. Do a bail out in like the inner corner and like a little bit of the yeah perf perf perf. It's upsetting me because she's doing it better than me. Ah. Uh, then I do Faith in like kind of the rest of the eyelid. And I do Rebounded, Rebound, whatever, on like the outer corner. In the crease too or no? Yeah. After I do is, I know she's problematic, but this is really good <laughs> eyeliner. <laughs> so I take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and do a little bit of a wing. And... Oh, fuck guys. I cannot do a wing. <laughs> it. What liner do you use? I use, um, I don't even know what this is. I got it in um, Ipsy because I really like Ipsy before my family made me stop ordering it because they said I had a makeup problem. I don't have a makeup problem. That's rude. I feel like mascara is one of the things that I feel like drugstore is like just Pretty good. good. Yeah. I really like Kush mascara though because it's more waterproof. Oh. And I cry a lot. Wait, you know what I just realized? What? I never did concealer. Oh, wait, did I? No. I don't think you ever... I, I never did concealer. No. No? Oops. So, I do MAC Prep and Prime, and this is the Fix Plus, and this is the one that smells like coconut. It was, like, a limited release last year, so I just do, like... Yeah. All right. And, and then my lipstick of choice is uh, the Mare from MAC which I think is beautiful. Just put on a nice, like, do you have like a sheer red lipstick? Yeah. All right. Wait, like Ruby, what? Wait, sheer? No. 
I have ruby blue. Alright, put the red lipstick. Yes! On. Oh my god, because I totally forgot that you're a glasses wearer too, because I feel like glasses wearers can more like go ham. Thanks for watching us switch makeup routines. I hope you enjoyed and check out Maggie's channel for we're gonna be else. We're going to be switching skincare routines yeah. after this. Bye!